Hey, Starlight. How's it going? You settling in okay? Glad to hear it. I mean, I kind of figured from the looks of this place, but I just wanted to be sure. So you're not just this messy back home in the mortal realm, huh? Yeah, about that. I've been meaning to ask you, how the fuck did you pull that off? I was half expecting Father to send you back to the mortal realm without even looking at you. Either that, or smite you where you stood. And yet, somehow, you walked out of there not only with all your limbs intact, but an invitation to dinner? Yeah, sure. You're charming. And if by charming, you mean childish and irritating. It doesn't matter what you wear. You look great in anything. Uh, I... I just meant, you know, you're not bad-looking, for mortal. In the right light, you're, uh, even kind of cute. Um, though, if you want my advice, maybe stay away from the Blue Keaton. You don't want anything that's going to accentuate your dark circles. <laughs> Fine. Suit yourself. It's not like I'll be there to see it. I don't know. You're the one he invited, not me. <sighs> Things work a little differently when your father is a god. I may be his son, but I'm not exactly in his good graces right now. I'll show up, but I'm not making any promises. Though, to be honest, he might not even notice that I'm at the table. Hmm. It's not that complicated. I do my work, and he ignores me. Except for when I do something wrong, of course. Then he pauses everything to chew me out. Simple. <laughs> oh no, of course it doesn't bother me. It's fine. Just peachy. It's not like there's anything I can do about it, though. So what's the point? No. Why would he be interested in my feelings? Hmm. Yeah, right. So I should just waltz into his office and start pouring my heart out. Maybe play some sad violin music in the background while I'm at it? Ugh. Look. Just forget it. I said forget it. It's none of your fucking business anyway. <sighs> no, I... I'm sorry. You're just trying to help. You can't, but... Ugh, shit. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. Yeah, um... He was never around much when we were growing up. He always had so much shit to do, ever since Aunt Athena breathed life into the mortals. I mean, I get it. It's a lot for me sometimes, and I'm only in charge of dreams. I can't imagine how much he must have on his plate, being the god of sleep in general. It's just... I don't know. It's not like it takes a ton of time to say good job. Would it kill him to do so every once in a while? Yeah, I guess invisible is a good way to put it. Ironic that my job literally requires me to be invisible most of the time. I... I just wanted to see me, you know? I tried to help. I did everything I was supposed to, and more. I learned how to use my sand. I offered to take over the dream department to give him a break. I helped to manage the Oniri, but I don't know. I did everything right, at least up until now, but no matter what I do, it's never enough. I could kick Zeus off his damned throne at Olympus, and I doubt Father would even look up from his work. I just want to be worth something to him. At the rate I'm going, I'm just a fucking waste of space. Well, of course, you'd say that, but... Well, thanks. It's nice to know 
someone appreciates me, at least. <sighs> I... I guess I could try. Talking to Father, I mean. I doubt he'll listen, but if he doesn't, I guess I'm no worse off than I started. Uh, sure. Like I said, I don't think there's much you can do, but I, uh, I appreciate it anyway. Thanks, Starlight. So, um, how are you liking Erebus so far? <laughs> what? Were you expecting it to be all doom and gloom? It is the place where the recently deceased pass through en route to the underworld. Therefore, it must be a hellish wasteland. Nah, I get it. It is beautiful. The poppy fields, the soft grays of the landscape, the golden rapids of Lethe. Oh, uh, FYI, don't ever drink the water unless you want to forget literally everything about who you are you won't even remember your name i fell in once as a kid and even being a god it took me a month to get all my marbles back zero out of five stars would not recommend why do i talk like what all modern hey fuck off you're the one who told me I needed to get with the times. Why shouldn't I use modern words? <sighs> I guess it's because... I don't know. Despite the fact that you mortals can be annoying as fuck sometimes, I've got to hand it to you. You're pretty resilient. The civilizations that worshipped us died out long ago, but even when they crumbled, you humans kept going. No matter what life throws at you, wars, disasters, pandemics, you always somehow pick yourselves back up and just keep on existing. And some of the shit you've come up with in the past 1500 years is pretty sweet. Indoor plumbing, air conditioning, sour gummy worms. What? What bags? Inside the amphora. <gasps> Oh, shit. Okay. Listen to me. You absolutely can't let anyone know about those, okay? Nothing is supposed to cross from the mortal realm into Erebus except souls. If Father found out... What? Are you seriously trying to blackmail me? You little shit. <clears throat> you don't think you don't count as one of those mortal goods yourself? I mean, okay, Father already knows about you and seems to like you for some fucking how, but still, you never know. He might throw you out along with the gummy worms. Uh, fine, fine, you can have some. Just keep quiet, please. Fine, two bags. Shit. You drive a hard bargain, Starlight. I'm almost impressed. Hey, I said, almost. I fully expect you to pay me back once we're back in the mortal realm. Hmm. I don't know. Either when we've dealt with the Epiales or when Father's patience runs out. One of the two. We will. I'm trying to think of a plan. Epiales is a sneaky bastard, but he's not invincible. With any luck, when he can't find you in the mortal realm, he'll just pick a new target. If not, though, I don't know. I'll think of something. Just give me some time. I know. I can't blame you for being scared. Having a daemon come after you would be enough to make Hercules quake in fear, let alone a regular mortal. But honestly, you've been as brave as any hero. The way you fought his power however you could, and then withstood meeting him face to face. You even let me whisk you away to a strange realm. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure if that part was brave or just stupid, but still. You're pretty badass. Oh, come on. Don't get all mushy on me. 
Maybe I am going a little bit beyond my job description, but I hate that bastard as much as you do. I'm not about to let him win. We're gonna get him, I promise. All right, one more hug. Damn, how are you always so warm? You're like Aunt Estia's sacred flame. I could get used to this. Oh, shit. I gotta go. If I'm gonna crash your little dinner party, I've gotta go get changed. Just remember, anything but the blue Keaton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you too. See you later, Starlight.